Whoa, look out there. The sun is making everything look so bright. Yeah, wouldn't it be so cool if we went and played out there, don't you think? Now hold on a minute, kids. Don't be doing anything you might regret. What do you mean, mister? What I mean is, there's a reason we don't go out in the sun anymore. It's because of the sun pun. What's a sun pun, old man? Gather round, children, and heed my words, for they may just save your skin. Generations before us, our ancestors worshipped the sun. They thought it brought them life, light and food. And so they would pray to it in many peculiar ways. It's only a shame that they were wrong, dead wrong. For the sun is a deadly killer. And it is home to an evil race of creatures called the Sun Pun. These creatures are jealous of our lifestyle, our liberties, our rights and our country music. And they are determined to take over the human race. Take over the human race? But how? By taking over our bodies, of course. Once a person is in their rays, the sun poon can control our minds. From then, they'll go on about doing dastardly deeds such as opening the blinds and taking off people's hats. Then how come everyone who worshipped it didn't die straight away? Why, because of a little thing called the ozone layer. A giant sheet of gas that covered our earth and protected us from the sun. It also protected us from the sun pun themselves. But not too long ago, a hole in the ozone layer appeared and with it came great disaster. From that day on, the sun pun have poured down across the earth and taken over whoever dares venture into the sunlight. But how do we know if someone's being controlled by a sun pun? It ain't easy, kid. It ain't easy. A sun pun doesn't look any different from you and me. It could be your mother, your mailman, <gasps> even your dermatologist. <gasps> but there are ways in which you can tell if someone is a sun pun. This is hopeless. The sun pun are surely going to take over all of us. <laughs> Don't you worry, little kid. Although danger abounds, there is hope yet. For General Zest and the Pure-Eyed Magni are looking out for all of us. General Zest? Even as we speak, General Zest is doing everything in his power to crush the sun poon threat. From patrolling our neighbourhoods to the annexation of New Zealand, the pure-eyed Magni is fighting the good fight to keep us all safe. Not only that, but he is in the middle of creating the Great Below. What's the Great Below? It's a good question. The Great Below is an underground city, a utopia free from poverty, crime, and most of all, the terrible sun pool. Well, why don't we go there now? Hold on a minute, little boy. For though I'm sure we all want to live in the great below, there's limited space. Therefore, they only allow the best of the very best to go down there and live. I'm an old man now, and my time for entering the great below has come and gone. But you, you young folks, you have the rest of your lives ahead of you. Therefore, it is crucial that you remain model citizens and obey the government, pay your taxes, stay indoors, and most of all, tell the pure-eyed magni whenever you suspect anyone of being a sun poon. Keep doing that, and I'm sure that the doors of the great below will open wide for you and your families. Wow! Well, <laughs> it looks like I've said enough. Now, are you kids going to go outside and play in the fresh air and sunshine? No, we're going to stay inside and watch some TV. That's the right answer. Oh, 
I can feel the zest inside of me. Oh, 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 oh. I can feel the zest inside of me. He's not fall, he's kind of fall, but he's.